guys, and welcome your faces back to an all new tutorial by Minecraft Lord 808. In today's tutorial, I've been getting a lot of um, questions by some people on Instagram saying, How do I download and how do I work IREC for Emu 4 iOS? Oh, whoops. Yeah, <laughs> you saw the glare of my face. But, anyways, I'll be showing you guys um, how to do that. So, it's pretty easy, it's pretty simple, and the best part about it is there is no jailbreak, but y it is not on the App Store. You do have to go to Safari and do it. Now, it may seem a bit weird and unsafe because you have to download an app from Safari instead of the App Store, but it is completely safe. Uh, there isn't, you, don't, you won't get any viruses and stuff, um, no glitches, uh, and no bugs, so yeah. But um, yeah, it, it does kind of seem weird, but you know, it's safe. But anyways, what you have to go do is type in emu4ios.net, you type in go. Then what you have to do now is just wait. Now this should be the home page. Um, it, this should. Uh, so basically you will um end up on this little home page with the little Emu4 iOS Store app. It's called Emu4 iOS Store Beta. All you have to do is press install. Then you press install. You don't have to do. You don't have to like change the date to 2011. I mean not 2011. To, to that, yeah. You don't have to change it to, 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 to 2011, or you don't have to change the date like how you used to do with Emu 4 iOS. Now you can just install it. But, um, yeah, so what you gotta do is you have to go into the app once it is done. Then you'll have a list of some apps right here. You wanna click on iRec, beta or iRec. It'll say one of those two. It really doesn't matter. Then you just press install. And it's that simple. Now, um, let's just wait for it to install. Now, for some reason, on some iPhones and some iPods, iRec does not basically, um, it doesn't, like, work like this. Um, it just tur it just shuts the screen. So, I'll be showing you what it looks like to, uh, screen record on how to screen record it. Because, for some reason, the screen recorder only works on my iPad mini. Um, so yeah. But I'm guessing it only works for tablets because... My friend, it doesn't work for on his iPod and iPhone, and it doesn't work on my iPod and iPhone. It only works on his iPad, and it only works on my iPad Mini. So I'm gonna show you how to first what you have to do to um, make this work, and then I'll show you what it's like to screen record. So first, you want to go to settings. Then you have to scroll all the way down, and then click the iRec app on the bottom. Then you'll have some options right here, like record audio, like recording your voice. There's video orientation, meaning that how you want the screen recorder to record. Like, let's say if you were to click portrait, then it's going to record like this. Um, if you were to click portrait upside down, then it's basically you're going to record the screen upside down. If you click the landscape home button to the right, it's basically going to record the screen, the, the, the screen like this with your home button on this side. To the right, uh, you can't really see it because it's a bit dark in here. You can let me just focus. Let's focus. I don't know. You can sort of see something, and then yeah. And if you were to click lens, hold on. Let's make it unblurry or more clear. If you were to click landscape home button to the right, it would record like this. But be sure to choose which option you want. If you were to accidentally click portrait, and then let's say use the screen recorder, record Minecraft, because that's what a lot of people, including me, use with iRec. Um, then it's basically you're going to record it like this, instead of like how you'd normally play, which is sideways, or this way, like that. It's actually going to record it like this, so then everything will be sideways. Like it, It's just going to play like this, and then if you were to upload it to YouTube, then that would look pretty stupid and dumb. But So be sure to always, uh, you know, change which one you want. I always do landscape home button to the right, but you don't have to do home... You don't have to, you don't have to do landscape home button to the right. You can do whichever you want. For these ones, I would be messing with these right now. Um, well, for one thing, I don't know what they do. So um, I just leave it as default. I don't mess with it because I don't... If you don't know what it is, then don't mess with it. But if you want to try figure out what it is, then uh, you can press some and record and test them out. But the next step you want to do is go to... Now, this this step is very important. This is what makes the, the screen to record... The app to record the screen. You want to go to General. You want to scroll all the way down. Well, not all the way down. Actually, you're supposed to... Um, where is it? That's not good. Oh, yeah. We're already in General. Duh. So you want to go to General. 
and click accessibility. Wait, wait, come on. Right there. And then what you want to go go do is scroll a bit down and try find a accessi accessive touch. I don't know how to pronounce a lot of words. Then you just click accessive touch and then turn it on. Right now it's on for me, but when you just download the app, wait, let's make it clear so you can see the button, it's basically going to have this. What you want to do is turn it on just by tapping it or sliding it. Then it's going to have this thing on the side. Don't worry about this. You can ignore it. It'll like, yeah, see how it just cleared up like that? Um, just ignore, it's always going to be there when you record, but when you tap it, it'll just show, like, um, some options that you can do, but that's what, I don't know why, but that's what makes the screen to record, um, not all, but most apps. Not some, but most. Now, let me show you what it looks like to screen record. So, I'll be doing that right now on my iPad mini. Alright, guys, so right now I'm recording with the iRec app, as you can see, it is right here. Um, on the screen where it has the little number one thing. Um, not the. That's not on the top. Don't look on the top right. That's a. That's a, a fake app. Screen recording app. Well, it's not fake, but it doesn't work anymore now that I have iOS seven. It's on the bottom in the middle, a bit to the right. But basically, um, this is what it looks like when you're screen recording. Although the audio will be a bit early or late. Um, one of those. Um, until IREC fixes that glitch, but, um, for now you're gonna have to stick with late or early audio, because sometimes during your recording, in the middle, although it never happens at the beginning or the end, well, for me it doesn't, um, you're, it'll have a hard time of making the audio and the video merging together, so that will be a problem, but, uh, yeah. But, um, well, that's a screen recorder, so... Um, so that, that will be a problem for you guys. Um, but, yeah, you can record lots of stuff like Minecraft. It works right here perfectly, even when you go inside the game. Um, and yeah. Alright, so, yeah, that's basically the whole screen recording thing. And if you go inside the app, this is what it'll look like. You just type in the name, and then click Start Recording, and then it'll say Stop Recording. You click Stop Recording when you're done. You can go to Recordings to see all your other... Um, videos that you record, uh, info just tells you about the, the info about the app and some of the beta testers and developers, and so yeah guys. So yeah, that's basically how you can screen record and how you download it. Um, so I'm just gonna delete it, um, actually no, I'll just keep it, cause I don't really, ooh, whoops, thank you. But anyways guys, that is the tutorial, I hope you all enjoyed it, and if, of course, if you enjoy the tutorial, be sure to slap that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to see more of my videos. I also do some gameplay as well. Um, also, um, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Also, if something goes wrong, like, let's say, like, if you go to Safari, even for iOS, and then the home page doesn't pop up with the app and the install button, comment below any problems that goes wrong with the downloading or with working iRec. And then comment below uh, what goes wrong, and then um, I'll try to see what goes wrong, and then I'll reply to your comment. And so yeah, guys, um, so I hope you all enjoyed this, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!